hello guys in this video i'm going to walk you through how to apply shading on the face so we've actually applied shading on the ears the lips and the eyes as well some part of the eyes and the nose okay so let's see how we can get that 3d look and feel on the face so now you can see we have quite a number of layers already okay even though some of the layers are not so necessary if you've been following along with um, the tutorial so far so i think this is um, the eighth video if i'm not mistaken okay so if you haven't watched the previous video please do well too because it's a continuation or build up to what we've done so far so now we have this layer here and this happens to be the face so every other thing is just some component of the face such as the nose the the lips and all that so now all we need to do is to create a new layer because the last thing we want to do is to apply the shading directly on this layer we don't want to do that okay so we, we want to create a, some layers okay so the first one we're going to make change it to multiply and then we're going to change this to color dot or screen okay so now that we have that so all i'll need to do now is to select my brush and then i will increase with the right angle bracket okay so i'll just move this you can we can just close it okay okay so i will i'll be using the this particular brush the soft round brush that will been using for a while now so the soft round brush okay so that's the brush I will be using here so the first thing we're going to do I'll press I to get a color around here or any pos anywhere at all on the face so once you select the color you can just move down so I say it, if you want to darken you move you move diagonal okay so we've just done that right so we'll switch and then we're going to select this so we want to brighten it okay so we're just trying to get the highlight and the shadow so now on the for on the foreground we have the the shadows and then here we have the highlight okay so we can get started right away so i've selected my brush and then the opacity and the flow i'll just bring it down so most of the times we always play around with the flow and opacity that's how best you can do to get your a good job done so we're going to look at our reference image to see where we have the highlight and where we have the shadows you can see we have a lot of highlight around the nose and the forehead we have some amount of highlight here we've taken care of some but then we'll still add some later so we're going to look walk around this position the chin and the cheek okay so now we're going to start applying the shadows first so we can start this way okay so we're currently applying the shadow so if you're not too sure on which layer you're on you can check to confirm you can see we're actually on this layer and that is wrong we're supposed to be on this layer so i'm going to undo a couple of times okay we don't want to apply the shading directly on the face it is not professional okay so we're going to select this and we'll switch it to multiply and then this okay we we'll change this to color dodge so this is our highlight this is our shadow okay so let's just group this if it hasn't been grouped already let's just call it face good so i i will now select the multiply and we'll start by applying this amount of shadow as you can see okay so we're trying to get the shadow right so around here as well you can see that it's a lot dark 
so we're going to apply the shadow around there okay so the secret to all this is just play around with your opacity and your flow so it will help in achieving that 3d look and feel so we have a bit of shadow around here so i'm going to reduce the size of my brush but then i know i have to be a lot careful while doing that okay let's undo i just feel we need to undo let's paint around here a couple of times okay around this position as well okay so now i'm going to reduce it so i'm going to paint around this part of the the face so it's supposed to be mild Okay, so something like that is fine. Okay, so where else do we need to add? Around here as well. We need to add. Okay, so let's take care of the highlights. So let's increase it a bit. So around this part of the nose, around here, you can see we have some highlights. So I'm going to start painting around there. You, we can undo okay and ensure <laughs> I am on the highlight not the shadow so I've switched so I'm on color dodge you can see that is a highlight so now let's try to paint and see okay I don't like this color so uh, now that I've seen that I don't like that I'll just switch to normal okay so we just switched back to normal since color dodge is not giving us the required result that we need it's actually changing the color that's not what we need at the moment so we're just going to paint around here okay you can see we are getting there Okay, so around the face, like so, so around here, okay, so around this place as well, we have some highlight, so let's reduce the size of the brush and then we're going to paint around there, okay, so We'll switch back to the shadows. So I'm going to reduce the size of the brush. I'm going to paint some shadows around here. so okay so that's a bit mild let's undo and then reduce the size of the brush then we'll go back and paint on it like, like so so it's mild okay so I think that is fine so we're going to increase it a bit and we we'll just darken the bottom slightly just to get it to blend okay so we have that okay so we still need to go down so 
so you can zoom out to see what you have okay so that's not that's not but it's not bad okay so we're going to go back to our highlight and then we'll still paint some more around here just to get it to to blend okay so that's just the essence okay so around the face around here we will need to increase this so we'll add some level of shadows around there okay so I'm going to zoom in around the eyes so we just will increase the flow. Okay, so that's that's much. We'll bring it down to about fourteen. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to paint like so. Okay, so it has to be a bit mild. You can see around here. So um, let's undo it. Okay, so it goes down this way rather. Okay, so now that we've done that can increase the size of the brush so we can just paint behind it just to get it to to blend get it to blend okay so, okay so let's zoom out to see okay so that's moderate enough okay so um we'll just come right here and then we'll start applying around okay let's switch okay it's actually on the shadow so let's start with the shadow first and foremost okay we're going to paint some highlight around here oh, oh sorry I always forget this is your shadow this is your highlight so let's switch back and then let's redo what we did earlier okay so that's fine okay so let's Let's extend this, reduce the size of the brush, extend it down like so, let's undo, okay so we need to paint on this okay because it's not as dark as what we did okay we just need to paint on it to just okay so around here is a lot dark if you see it, if you look at it closely so we're going to do that so let's reduce the size of uh oh select b okay 
Okay, so now that I've reduced the size, I show you selected. Uh, okay, and then we're going to paint. We're going to increase that amount. Okay, so increase the flow. Okay, because we need to get it to be a lot dark. So let's zoom out to see what we have. Okay, so we are almost there. We still paint on it. Okay, so that's great. Okay, it just paints around the edges as well. Okay. Okay, so that's good. So we'll, we'll, we'll do the same thing on the other eye. Okay. to see what you have okay so that's that's good okay so around the base is, is dark so this time around we read we need to reduce the opacity so you can see how we went back and forth with opacity so that's just the the secret behind this you really need to play around with your opacity so increase this amount okay so that tear dog Undo that. Okay, so you can see we've extended it. It's supposed to be around here. So we can just undo. Okay, now if you want to correct this, you can just press any color around here. Then you press B. Then you paint on it can increase sorry you can okay this is multiply and this is your normal okay so let's go to normal and then we're going to paint so this more or less we're trying to correct um, maybe some mistakes that we've done you can see okay so we have this let's turn this on and off okay so now that we have this we can actually um, select this and then get back okay so we'll go back to our shadow so we're going to start around here Okay, so now that we've, we've corrected it to some extent, you can just okay, so around there you can increase it. Okay, so that's our multiply. Let's increase, let's increase the amount.
increase it. Okay, so you can see okay we have this and then we have the shadow okay so um this is actually hiding we actually corrected some things here now that we are painting you see whenever you're painting you don't get to see the result because this is more or less hiding what you what we have so we're going to undo a couple of times because we made some mistake because we weren't seeing what we were painting okay so <coughs> now we can we can just create a new layer above it okay just to make things easy for us, we just create a new layer above it, and then we're going to just go over the shape like so. So I feel that's a bit intense. So let's inc reduce the the flow and the opacity. So now that we've done that, we can just paint around the eyes. Okay, so that amount is fair enough. Okay, so around the top eyelid, okay, we need to add a bit of shadows around there. Okay, so you can see what we have. So let's add some brightness to this. So let's select this and then we're going to leave it at normal. We're going to switch to to that and then I'll just increase this. Okay, before then, okay, before then either this or this. Now the reason why I created this layer is because we've already painted around here so that that particular layer is is hidden behind this so that's why i created the layer above this but then there is nothing here like we've not actually painted anything here so we can either use this or you can choose to use this because much later we'll still blend we'll still merge all of them so we have this as multiply and then we'll switch to our shadows we just want to add some shadows around the nose okay so you can see what we have let's undo that so whenever I feel it's a lot intense I usually go back to the opacity and and the flow okay to bring it down so that we're going to have smooth transition as far as the shadow and the highlight is concerned okay so we have some shadows around the base of the nose okay you can see that Okay, so we just add some shadows around here as well. So whenever you're painting and you can see what you're actually painting, just know that a, la a particular layer is sitting above it, so it's more or less hiding what you're painting. Okay, like in the case of the eyes. Okay, so we're going to just brush around here. All 
okay so let's go back to our highlight so we're going to switch this time around and then we're going to paint okay so the highlight is not that um, pronounced you can see it around the nose so that's the reason why we're going a bit mild okay so that's good so around the chin we also have some amount of highlight around the chin so but then I will increase the flow Okay, so we're going to switch to the shadows. Then we're going to paint around here. If it's intense as usual, I will undo, reduce it, and then go back to it again. And then we're going to paint. So I feel that's that's good. So let's increase it. Okay, so so far you can see we are making a whole lot of progress. So I feel the brightness around the chin is sort of much. So I'm using the shadow to just get it to blend okay so far so good you can see we're making a whole lot of progress okay so in the next video now that we've achieved this level of um, shading in the next video we're going to see how we can apply the, the eyelashes and the hair okay so see you guys in the next tutorial